Welcome to Hangman. Who doesn't love to play Hangman? I mean, your boy is illiterate as hell, and um, I fail my English classes, but um, I like to play Hangman, you know? Because I'm lucky. I'm a lucky boy. Yeah, I'm really lucky. So, I mean, we have to go with A, right? I mean, it's... See? Easy. A. Well, next one. Oh, five letter. Oh, we got this. We got this. Uh, wrong letter. Oh, uh, maybe, uh, I don't know. D? Mm, Q? Nope. T? Okay, okay, okay. We're, we're getting it. We're getting it. Um, I don't know. N? Oh, no. Two life. My, my, my arm is on it. My arm is... It's on. It's on the hang. Come on. Come on. Um. I don't know. I don't know. What What could it be? What could it be? Uh. C. Oh no. One life. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Your boy's illiterate. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Uh. I'm gonna go with S. Has to be. Oh. S. Okay. Thank you. You saved me. All right. One more. One more. All right. This is it. This is it. Um. Uh. Uh. E? No! Hi, my name is Tim, and today I'll teach you how to code a hangman. So without further ado, let's uh, get into the concept. So, start off. Step one. So what we're going to do, we're going to get a word from a dictionary, and we're going to store it in a variable. And uh, after that, we're going to go into a loop where... Uh, the user will enter a letter and then the program is going to check um, if the letter is inside the word and it's going to update and then it's going to update uh, whether the player gets the word correctly or it's going to update that the the life is lost because you get it wrong and it's going to update the hangman graphics as well and the loop will end either when the player ran out of lives or or when, um, well, the player gets all the words correctly, if he's smart, uh, then the game will end. So, let's get into the important concept. So, in this um, program, we're going to use chart arrays. I'll explain what chart arrays are. Since we're dealing with strength and we're comparing letters, we need to use chart arrays. And they're a pretty important concept. And let's also have to uh, go over what reading and how to read a text files in Java because we're using a dictionary and I will put the download uh, the download link in the uh, description so that um, you can also download it and use it in your program as well so let's get into the code after you have created your uh, project uh, we're gonna make our first class and that will be uh, the main class is where most of our code will be in and then we're gonna check void main we do want the void main function and um, so <clears throat> now let's begin so the step one the step one is to um, get a word from the dictionary so what we have to do is that we have to download a text file of dictionaries and then it's in the link on the description below that you can download the the text file uh, it has some a lots of words it's like 12,000 words and um, what we want to do is that we want to copy it uh, and paste it in the same file, the same source package or uh, folder uh, as the main classes. And then what we have to do we in the code, what we have to do, we have to uh, create a file object called, uh, we just call it, t uh, not text, I guess, dictionary equals new file. And then within these parentheses, we want to put in uh, the location of the file. So one quick way to put the location of the file in um, to find to, to figure out what's the location of the file is to go to the uh, properties and under the location you just copy this and paste it. Oh, uh, my bad. You have to put in a quotation mark first. And now what we have to do we have to import file. So it will just hover over it. If you're in uh, Eclipse, you just hover over it, and then say import Java.io file. 
and this is what it looks like and um, so now we have the file and now we all we have to do is to read it so we're gonna create a scanner object uh, this object is gonna be called a uh, text scanner equals new scanner and uh, we're gonna put in the dictionary and we have to import scanner and we have to we have to throw exceptions my bad no capitalization oh with, with no no s my bad um so we have to throw exception because um you're reading a text file and then there could be a um, error that comes out so you have to throw exception you have to put it uh, in the main function um now what we have to do is that we can use the scanner we're gonna use the scanner by uh first of all we're gonna create a array list of string and we're gonna call it uh the words because this is all the words in the dictionary um and let's initialize it and we have to import it okay so what we're gonna do now is put all the words in the dictionary into uh, the words array by the way this is what the dictionary look like so you will have an idea why I'm using scanner you see now you see that these are the words there's 12,000 of them so you they're separated by a line so that's why I'm using scanner and uh, what we have to do is that we're gonna do uh, while the, the text scanner has next so meaning while there's a next line the the text scanner is gonna keep uh, scanning adding uh, it's gonna keep taking the string and add it into our words so what we're gonna do is that uh, words dot add and it will be text scanner dot next uh, next line so yeah so it shouldn't be dot has next it will be has next line because we want to check if there's a next line after it so when it reaches the last line it would uh, end okay so next what we have to do after this is that we have to um, create a we have to create a scanner object again and this scanner object is going to be used for um, uh, scanning the input of the user because we have to get the letter from the user as well so input equals new scanner and this one will be system.in and now we're ready to move on to step two uh, actually before we do that we haven't actually got the words yet so my bad and then uh, we would uh, make the word and we're gonna we gonna get a word okay strain um, this will be our hidden text that the user is trying to uh, figure it out and then it's gonna be equals to uh, the words so we want to get a, a random word from this this dictionary so what we got to do is that we're gonna use math.random uh, we got to put it in a parenthesis these for itself because we have to cast it into an integer after this so math.random multiplies by and the range of will be um, the length of the array list so that so we can get everything oh not <laughs> yes length and then for array list would be dot size and um, we have to cast this into integer oh right here uh, integer and do I have a uh, one more no ah Rendon multiplies by
so it's giving me an error oh i need one more <laughs> my bad sorry um yeah T too much parentheses it's, it's, it's tripping me out anyways uh now now we have the word what we want to do is that we're going to turn it into a char array so this is how you declare a char array a char is basically a, like a letter so a b c d e f g are chars and string are kind of like a string that kind of like a array of char so it's kind of like uh, all these char are combined into a string so so a uh, char would just be one character so and then we want a, a array of one uh, of single characters uh, for the word so we can you know check uh, when we get the letter from the user so we can go through the array and check individual letter that's why we want a char array so let's call it uh, um, text array equals to and then it will so what we have to do we have to turn the hidden text into char array so it's simply dot to char array and that will turn it into a char array and we also need a char array for that records our answer so char array my answers equals to a new char array and the size of the char array will be the same as the uh, text array and that will be dot length yes okay so now we're ready to move on to the loop actually before we do that we want to uh, initialize are uh, my answers with uh, question marks why because um, because uh, we want to uh, we don't want there to be empty empty space so so in the end you in later on you will see why you want to use question marks but for now just uh, I'll show you why so uh, I'll show you why in a second uh, because uh, we don't want it to be empty and we want it to we want question mark to represent uh, we haven't found the answer for that index yet so what we're gonna do is gonna be my answers I equals a question mark and I also and I also want to show you uh, uh, how do you represent a chart so it would just be a single curl single quotation mark instead of a double quotation mark which represents string and a single quotation mark represents char okay now we're gonna go on move on to our loop and then we're gonna create a boolean variable called finished we're gonna set it equal to false and while finished equal equals to false this loop will keep running so this loop will end only when finished equal equals to true and we want to make that happen only when the the, the game ends obviously so um let's just start printing i'm 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 printing this so that it will look nicer when you uh when you run the code in the uh so it will look nicer and uh anyways let's get an input from the user so get an input from the user uh, we can't call it input because uh, our scanner is called input <laughs> so we're just gonna call it a uh, letter okay so what we're gonna do as a good game developer you want to check for a uh, errors you know so what, what happens if the user just like spend the keyboard or match the keyboard and type in a bunch of different stuff so you in that case it will break your program so what you want to do you want to check for a valid input so right here I'm gonna check for a valid input so um, how do we do that so we want to return it we want to tell the user that you you enter a um, wrong input if if they enter a number or they in input a, a letter that's greater than the size of one so if they enter like ABC then it will be wrong you can only enter a right but you and that letter can also be number so what we have to do is that uh, we will say uh, while while 
letter dot length um, does not equal one or um, character so we're calling uh, the character class so character class is basically kind of like char but there uh, there's function in it where it takes in char and it would uh, return saying it's an is this char a number or is this char uh, a letter so what we want to do is that uh, character that is digit so we're checking whether it's a number or not and then we're gonna input the chart passing the chart as a parameter and that chart will be letter dot uh, char at index zero so we want only want to check the first the first letter we want to check the first letter of the uh, the input and now let's um, say um, error input try again so we want the user to re-enter their uh, input so that it would so that program wouldn't break so we're going to do input dot uh, next now now we can we get our letter we can check whether the letter is inside the loop so we're going to check if letter uh, it's in um, the word so we want to do we're gonna, in the meanwhile we're going to do a boolean uh, we're going to do a boolean um, statement called found so so we know whether it's found or not so we're going to set it equal to false initially and then we're going to go through the we're going to go through the te uh, text array so we're going to go through the text array so we're going to do uh, hi equals zero i is less than text array what the heck is that dot length and then so we're going to check uh, our letter so letter if leather dot uh, char at zero equal equals to um, okay if equal equals to the text array at i th if they're equal then found equal true right found equals true and um, we also wants to uh, Record it in our my answer. So my answer is i equals uh, text array i. So we're gonna record it, and then we gonna um yeah we can record it like this or we uh and then what we're gonna do is that we gonna say what happens if the letter doesn't match so if found if if not found this is a shorter way to do it simply just exclamation mark found if not found then we're gonna subtract our lives so lives oh so yes we need to create an integer we, we need to say we're gonna create a lives and we're gonna set it equal to six uh, that means that we'll have six lives so we're gonna subtract our lives. We need to record it, update our lives, and then we have to print out, tell the user that you did a bad job and you're trash. So we're gonna tell them wrong letter. And um, then what we're gonna do is that we wanna um, update, right? We're gonna print out our status. So what I mean by that is you know, we're gonna print out basically the hangman, right? We want to tell the user, oh, this is how far you have gone. This is how much letter you have guessed the right. So what we're going to do is that we're going to create a for integer i equals 0. Less than my answer. Stop length. And then i++. plus plus. And then what we do after this is that we have to, uh, this is why there's a question mark. And why did I do that? Because, um, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do my answers. If my answer dot i equal equals to a question mark, that means that the letter has not been guessed it. So 
did I type the wrong? Give me, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> forgot S, my bad. So, uh, yes, if it then equals to question mark, what we're gonna do, we're gonna print it out. So we're gonna print out, uh, so we wanna print out a dash, indicating there's no letter right there. So we haven't guessed it yet, so. And then, uh, that means that, uh, but we also want to create a boolean variable called done so that we can see if uh, we're done with the user get everything right. So if the user, if done equals to true, that means that uh, the game ends because the user is smart and he get his word right, not like me. But uh, uh, so what we had to do is that we're just going to do done equals to false when there's a question mark. That means that the user is not done yet. So and uh, we're gonna create an else statement after this saying that uh, so basically when there isn't a question mark that means that the user did get the letter correct so we want to print out the letter showing the user saying that oh you got this one right so we're gonna do a space and then we're gonna do my answer dot i so there you go now what we have to do after this is that we have to uh, print out how many lives left yeah it's pretty bad uh anyways um so what i do we have print out the lives so by the way i'm gonna use this what this is is that means that it's gonna skip a line so i want to skip a line and then put in lives the we're gonna i want to skip a line because um you know uh, to make the more spacious you will see i just want it to look good I just want to skip a line and then we're going to say lives left and then print out the lives. Okay. So now we want to check if the game ends. So first we're going to say if done. So if it's done, which done is true, that means that we want to print out. We want to print congrats. You found. Oh my God! You found the word. And uh. And then we want to set finished. Equal equals. I mean not equal equals equals true, right? And there's also another thing that might happen and then finish will be equals to true that will be if lives is less than or equal to zero so when it reaches zero that means that the game ends as well and it will be um, you are dead better luck next time maybe not luck I mean Heyman is definitely not luck right so it will probably be like, oh, study your English. Something like that. Um, and then finished will be equals to true. All right. So the game is basically done, but uh, it will not have any uh, fang, uh, you know, hangman on it. So who wouldn't want? Who would want to play a hangman if there's no? actual hanging of the man right that's that's what's the fun is right uh so that's why i uh i uh spent some time drawing the hangman using a uh, primitive text technology and i'll copy it and put it here and i'll also copy it and put it in description so that you guys can paste it and i can spare you some time uh making this abomination right here so yeah Uh, I think I put it in the wrong place. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I need to put it in one level out. So right here. So I basically create a function called a uh, draw hangman, and it takes in a, a integer and indicating how much life is left. So basically, when there's six life, there's no man on here, and each time it increases, it adds a body part, and the end basically. So. So what we're gonna put this, we're gonna put it right under lives left. So we're gonna say draw hangman 
and then we want to say lives there you go now this is basically hangman hey uh, I forgot one thing is that I want to say some welcome you know messages saying like oh welcome to hangman or something like that so maybe I'll say uh, welcome to hangman you know gotta be nice all right so now we can run it this is pretty much it if there's no error well let's um test it out so um a i always go with a holy oh guess what we do we do have a bug um and now that that's an easy bug though uh that's because when i um update my stuff i say print line instead of just print you will just use print because you don't want to skip a line after you print this so that, that they will be on the same they will be on the same line let's run it again we're gonna go for with a wrong letter all right e all right there you go e um i don't know maybe i wrong letter okay i'm trash at this so don't watch uh, I'm not usually not with good with this type of uh, game yeah I probably should study my English uh, anyway um, I think in the end we should probably print out the uh, word so that so that we don't you know we had to print out a hidden text so that the user know how stupid they are you know for uh, uh, not knowing this this word and now let's run it. Um, A. Ah. Uh, K. Nope. E. Okay. Elephant. Nope. I. Okay. Uh, R. Nope. Uh, O. Right. Has to be O. Nope. One life. I don't know. S. Okay. We got some. Maybe uh, P? Nope. Alright, I'm dead. Uh, the answer is in mashing. Alright, nobody could have guessed. I don't even know what that means. Anyways, um, thank you for watching the video. You just basically coded a hangman. And then it will actually test your English skill. And uh, you can play with your friend. And then this is hangman. And thank you for watching the video. Hope you learned something. And uh, play with your game. And uh, see you in the next one.